This is going to be a short video to highlight the processes and workflow of digitally creating Studio 7, the lobby space for Joe. What's exciting here is that this is a real space with real meaning for the client. The stages are broken into photogrammetry, modeling, UV mapping, substance painting, and then scripting it all together in Unreal Engine. The space had a lot of character and a lot of unique objects, which was great, but also a slight issue because the first step was to empty the room as much as possible, which wasn't all that possible, so we just shoved it into a corner. Then we started photogrammetry, which, if you're unaware, begins with taking lots and lots of photographs. Shout out to Sean from Acrylicize, who came in and helped me with this. It was a long, long day. So, this is the room once we had emptied it, the idea being to capture the husk and then fill it with all the objects later, otherwise they would just morph into each other. This then is the raw photogrammetry result using reality capture. Once all the images are cleaned and batch desaturated, this is having been cleaned up a little bit, you can see all of these white cones represent an individual image and the location it was taken in in order to triangulate the space. I like this element because it was really detailed and it showcases the level of detail that the space was captured in. Other areas however I wanted to remove. This was a stage of filtering and cleaning the data even further. Then, using some precise measurements and the full scan as a reference, I modeled the remaining elements of the room to achieve our empty husk. There were also a few objects that gave the space its character that the client wanted scanned as well. Some were trickier than others. One had a sheen that required us to scan it twice, uh, once with textures, and then again covered in newspaper to capture the geometry itself. So after each element is modeled, UV mapped and exported, I take it into Substance Painter and try to recreate the materiality. That data is then baked into texture maps, which we can hook up in Unreal Engine. So this is the result once we add everything back together. Place all the objects where they're supposed to go and then give some extra blueprint functionality to some things. There were various techniques used to achieve the finer details. For example, I created specific decals for the unique sign on the door and the carpets as well. I had to actually use a drone to capture them from above. After having recreated the space, of course, it was important to experience it as well. So I created a short demo that explored some of Joe's functionality, uh, let you feel what the space was like. And of course, I uh, couldn't help but add a little Easter egg. This particular surprise features my dancing pixels. How can a human hold on to my ex? Do I have no self-respect or does it mean something? You can see them with other music in other videos. The idea is to blend reality and imagination together. So, with all of that, I hope you enjoyed this little insight into the making of Studio 7.